Hi, my name is Tony, and in this video, we're gonna have a little show and tell. I'll smile like a psychopath, and I'll show you how easy it is to make any of these boxes here. Let's get right into it because you don't have time to waste, do you? So uh, let's get over everything we need to make these boxes. Firstly, you're gonna need some leather. Yes, who knew, right? But seriously, make sure it's at least six ounces thick. That's 2.4 millimeters if you live in all country. That's how Americans refer to Europe, by the way. Besides the leather, you're just gonna need a number five zipper, all right? The longest one I used was about 16 inches or roughly 40 centimeters. Don't worry about getting the exact length because we're gonna shorter these suckers anyway, all right? And what else? Just some thread and yes, of course, the pattern. Even though the design looks simple, believe you me, getting every single piece to fit perfectly is no walk in the park. Having the pattern available will guarantee you get the same results with no headache every single time. Let's start with a quick check and see if the pattern printed to scale and then combine the pages along the dotted line like I do here. you should always get the scissors to match like this. This is very important. Now, cut all the paper patterns out of the pages and use masking tape to place them firmly onto the leather. Pro tip, rub some wax along the stitching holes so you can make your hole punching a lot easier. Trust me on this. I used a 1.5 millimeter hole puncher, but depending on the thread you use, you can use whatever hole puncher you prefer. Next, simply cut all the leather pieces out by using a short knife or a cut, whatever you want. At this stage, you could just start assembling the box and skip the next step. But if you wanna elevate your craft to the next level, you should really consider finishing those edges. There are many ways to do it, depending on the leather you use, the look you are after, or whatever tools you have available. During the next few minutes, I'll show you how I do it. I start by quickly sharpening my edge bovella, and then I shave the edges on both sides. Now that looks nicer already. Next, I grab a permanent marker and run it across all the edges I just beveled. For the next step, you will need some sort of a burnishing gum, all right? Talk on all like this. Toco Pro, like I like to use, 
whatever you can get your hands on will work fine okay water will also work but it will take a lot of work all right a lot more time a lot of more elbow grease and uh, this this guy here will considerably speed your process all right so if you want to save time spend a little bit get one of those next just apply some of this paste along the edges and uh, use a wood burnisher to really rub that paste in And now that you've seen me do it, you can judge for yourself if this is something you want to waste your precious time with or not. I think yes. Regardless of what you're going to do, let's move on with our build. There are three different shapes in various sizes included in the pattern, but um, the only box that is slightly different is this big one here where the small handle here at the back moves to the top here all right besides that no matter which design you choose to make the assembly process is exactly the same first we will attach the zipper all right and don't worry I'll make it easy for you now, it is very unlikely you will get a zipper that will fit perfectly, but don't worry, you can shorten it very easily. Then, use glue or double-sided tape to temporarily attach attach the zipper to the leather because it won't hold unless you stitch it in place. I mean, come on now, somebody gotta tell you. Please pay attention to this next part. I will use one of these multi prongs to punch the stitching holes through the leather and the zipper at the same time. These holes are not marked on the pattern and I leave the placement up to you. If you don't have a multi prong, you can use a single punch as well, but just make sure the holes are spaced and at the same distance from the edge. Next, let's get some stitching done into this bad boy right here. I used one millimeter thread that will fill up those 1.5 millimeter holes very nicely. Once the zipper is stitched into place, I'll add my maker's mark to the bottom of the main piece right here because I want everybody to know I've designed and made this. With this piece finished, let's put it on the side for the moment and uh, let's connect these two pieces next. Just remember, 
if you're making uh, this large box, the top layer looks slightly different. More specifically, this bit here will be missing and the stitching holes here will be moved here and here so you can attach this little handle. Very easy stuff. I'm sure you can manage the slight change. And one more thing, I've been using these uh, thread zappers for the last few weeks and uh, all I have to say is what took me so long. These are absolutely amazing, strongly recommended. And there is an affiliate Amazon link down in the video description if you want to buy your very own. Next, don't forget to attach the end of this small handle at the other end, uh, like so. And if it looks like it's a little bit longer, that's fine. It's called design. Look it up. Now let's put the bottom part together and uh, for this particular piece I recommend using a wet sponge to wet mold this part a little bit so um, it looks a little bit like a tray before you start stitching. Then grab that long strip and uh, join its ends like I'm doing here to form a loop. then attach this loop to the small tray you've made a little bit earlier. But uh, best to keep watching and see exactly what I mean. Okay, we now have three separate pieces we need to put together. We will have to attach the top to the middle section here with one long stitch 
that starts from here all the way over here. I've already done it and uh, you can watch exactly how while I go grab a coffee. Have fun. You're done? Great. Let me see. Hold it up, Mark. I can't see. Okay, that's fine. I'll do. Now, let's stitch the bottom in place and be done with this. You have to start stitching from the middle here and go all the way around. Really easy stuff.
And if you use the pattern properly, all the holes should match and finish this stitch with a huge grin on your face, like this. Note, I didn't do anything to these edges yet, but I'm gonna do now. I'll start with some light sanding to bring them all to the same level. Then some edge bevelling, some coloring and burnishing. And then poof, all done. And then this, a simple yet very elegant design, not a hard to do and infinitely useful to anyone in your family. This will become my next pipe box, all right? Like that, put everything in there. And uh, I think, I'm gonna hide my watch in this one, all right? Thank you so much for watching. Now go to the video description and download the pattern so you can all start making your own boxes right away. Peace.